We look to the stars, we ask, is anyone out there? The question is ancient, woven into our myths and legends. Now science offers tools to search for answers. Telescopes scan distant planets. Rovers probe the surface of Mars. The quest for extraterrestrial life captivates us. It speaks to our place in the cosmos. The universe is vast, filled with billions of galaxies. Each galaxy holds billions of stars. Many stars have planets. The sheer scale suggests we are not alone. Life as we know it requires specific conditions. But what if life elsewhere found other ways to exist? The search for alien life is a search for ourselves. It forces us to confront our assumptions about life, intelligence and civilization. The answers, whatever they may be, will reshape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The journey is just beginning. Before science, there were stories, tales of strange beings visiting Earth, gods descending from the heavens. These narratives reveal our hopes and fears. They reflect our anxieties about the unknown. From ancient myths to modern science fiction, aliens take many forms. They are benevolent helpers, fearsome invaders or enigmatic observers. These stories explore our relationship with the other. They grapple with themes of power, technology and the meaning of humanity. Science fiction often serves as a thought experiment. It allows us to explore the potential consequences of contact. What if we encountered a species far more advanced? What if they possessed technology beyond our comprehension? These stories challenge us to consider the ethical and philosophical implications of such encounters. Our cultural fascination with aliens reveals a deep-seated curiosity. We yearn to know if we are alone. We crave connection with something beyond ourselves. This yearning fuels both our scientific endeavors and our artistic imaginations. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, is a scientific endeavor. It is a quest that has fascinated humanity for decades, driven by our innate curiosity and desire to understand our place in the universe. It uses the tools of astronomy, biology and physics. These disciplines come together in a harmonious blend, each contributing its unique perspective and techniques to the search. We search for signals, for evidence of technology. These signals could be anything from radio waves to laser pulses, any form of communication that an advanced civilization might use. We analyze the atmospheres of distant planets. By studying the chemical composition of these atmospheres, we can infer the presence of biological processes or industrial activities. The Drake Equation attempts to quantify the probability of finding intelligent life. This equation, formulated by Dr. Frank Drake in 1961, considers several variables that influence the likelihood of detecting extraterrestrial civilizations. It considers factors like star formation rates and the fraction of planets that could support life. These factors include the number of stars formed each year, the fraction of those stars with planetary systems, and the number of planets that could potentially support life. The numbers are vast, the uncertainties high. The sheer scale of the universe and the many unknowns make this a challenging endeavor, but also an exciting one. Yet even a small chance of success is enough to motivate our search. The potential discovery of intelligent life would be one of the most profound events in human history. Astrobiology explores the origins and evolution of life. This field of study seeks to understand how life began on Earth and how it might arise elsewhere in the universe. It studies extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme environments on Earth. These hardy organisms can survive in conditions that were once thought to be uninhabitable, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents, acidic hot springs and the frozen tundra. These studies expand our understanding of life's possibilities. By learning how life can adapt to extreme conditions on Earth, we gain insights into where and how life might exist on other planets. They suggest that life might exist in conditions we once thought impossible. This opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for where we might find life in the universe. The universe is full of surprises. Every new discovery challenges our understanding and pushes the boundaries of what we know. We have discovered planets orbiting other stars, some within the habitable zone. These so-called Goldilocks planets are not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist, which is essential for life as we know it. We have found evidence of organic molecules in space. These molecules are the building blocks of life, and their presence suggests that the ingredients for life are widespread in the universe. These findings, while not proof of life, 
fuel our optimism. The search continues. Each discovery brings us one step closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? How would humanity react to the discovery of alien life? This question has fascinated scientists, philosophers and storytellers for generations. The implications of such a discovery are profound, touching every aspect of human life from our scientific understanding to our cultural and religious beliefs. Would it be a moment of unity or chaos? The answer isn't straightforward. It could bring us together, uniting humanity with a common purpose, or it could drive us apart, exacerbating existing tensions and fears. The answer is complex, influenced by culture, history and the nature of the contact. Imagine a scenario where we receive a radio signal from a distant star system. The message complex, clearly artificial, this discovery would rock the foundations of our understanding of the universe. It would spark a global effort to decipher the message, to understand its meaning. Scientists, linguists and cryptographers would work tirelessly collaborating across borders to unlock the secrets of this extraterrestrial communication. Another possibility, a probe enters our solar system sent by an alien civilization. This scenario raises questions of intent. Is it a friendly visit, a reconnaissance mission? The uncertainty could lead to fear and paranoia. Governments might scramble to respond, debating whether to approach with caution or open arms, or perhaps contact is more subtle. Evidence of ancient alien artifacts discovered on Mars or the Moon. This discovery would rewrite history, challenging our understanding of our place in the universe. Archaeologists and historians would be thrust into the spotlight, piecing together the story of these ancient visitors. Each scenario presents unique challenges and opportunities. The way we respond will define us as a species. Will we approach with curiosity and a willingness to learn? or with fear and aggression. The stakes are high. Our response could set the tone for future interactions, shaping the relationship between humanity and any potential extraterrestrial civilizations. The discovery of alien life would not just be a scientific milestone, it would be a test of our collective character. How we handle the unknown, how we treat those who are different from us, even if they come from another world, will reveal much about who we are, and the possibilities are endless and the future is unwritten. But one thing is certain, the discovery of alien life would change everything. It would be a defining moment in human history, a turning point that would echo through the ages. The question remains, are we ready for it? The idea of aliens living among us is a staple of science fiction. For decades, movies, books and television shows have explored this fascinating concept. Capturing our imaginations with tales of interstellar diplomacy, alien cultures and the challenges of living side by side with beings from other worlds. But what would the reality of such coexistence look like? Would it be a harmonious blend of cultures or a tumultuous clash of civilizations? The truth is, it would likely be a bit of both, requiring us to navigate a myriad of complexities. It would be a complex dance of cultural exchange, resource management and political negotiation. Imagine a bustling marketplace where humans and aliens trade goods, each bringing unique items and technologies to the table. This exchange would enrich both societies, fostering mutual growth and understanding. Differences in biology, technology and culture could lead to misunderstandings. For instance, an alien species might have a completely different approach to science and technology, leading to potential conflicts in collaborative projects. However, these differences could also be a source of innovation and progress. Concepts like territory, property, and even time itself might be perceived differently. An alien civilization might have a non-linear perception of time, affecting how they plan and execute long-term projects. Understanding and respecting these differences would be crucial in maintaining peaceful relations. Communication would be paramount, requiring the development of new languages and modes of interaction. Linguists from both species would need to work tirelessly to create a universal communication system ensuring that messages are accurately conveyed and understood. Competition for resources could lead to conflict. Planets with abundant resources would become hotspots for tension as both humans and aliens vie for control. Diplomatic efforts would be essential to mediate these disputes and find equitable solutions. Access to water, land and energy would need careful management. 
Engineers and scientists from both species would need to collaborate on sustainable solutions, ensuring that resources are used efficiently and equitably. Establishing clear boundaries and agreements would be crucial to prevent escalation into hostility. Leaders from both sides would need to engage in continuous dialogue, setting up treaties and agreements that respect the needs and rights of all parties involved. The arrival of aliens would force us to confront our own biases and prejudices. It would be a mirror reflecting our own societal issues, compelling us to grow and evolve. Overcoming these prejudices would be a significant step towards true coexistence. We would need to learn to see the other not as a threat, but as a potential partner in building a shared future. This partnership could lead to unprecedented advancements in various fields, from medicine to space exploration. Coexistence would not be easy, but the potential rewards are significant. A society where humans and aliens work together could achieve remarkable feats, pushing the boundaries of what we currently believe is possible. Imagine the scientific and technological advancements that could result from collaboration with a species possessing different knowledge and perspectives. The fusion of diverse ideas and technologies could lead to breakthroughs that benefit all of humanity and our alien counterparts, creating a brighter, more prosperous future for all.